Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll solve one example on Y parameter or short circuit admittance parameter. This is a question. Find Y parameter for the network shown or it can be find short circuit admittance parameter for the network shown. Here I have considered the same two port network which we have taken for the Z parameter. Now, for Y parameter, we know that I1 and I2, we are expressing as a function of V1 and V2. And we know the standard equation for the Y parameter also. If you don't know, you can go for the previous video. So, this is the standard equation. These are standard equations for Y parameter. Now, we want to find Y parameter. So, to find Y1 y11 and y21 we can make v20 that means we can short circuit the output port then to find y12 and y21 we can make the input port 0 by making v10 means input port short circuiting short circuiting one of the method to find the y parameter but i am going for the second one for that we are applying kcl at the nodes present in your network. So, to apply KCL, first note down what are the nodes. So, here voltage V1. So, for this point, we will mark it as a node 1. Now, here voltage V2. So, this point voltage is here there is no element. So, here V2 means here also it is V2. So, we will mark it as a node 2. Then this one, one of the another node will mark it as a node 3. So, here first, second and third. So, we can ma mark it as a 1, 2, 3 also but to avoid the confusion because this voltage is V1. So, we will mark it as a 1. This voltage is V2. We will mark it as a 2 and the remaining one will mark it as a V3 or third node. Now, at this each node we have to apply KCL, Kirchhoff voltage law. Now for this one, this is the only one branch. So I1 is equal to voltage at this point is V1 minus voltage at this point is V3 divided by 1. So current I1 is equal to V1 minus V3 by 1. Now we will apply KCL at this node. I2 is equal to there are two branches. So, current in this branch is V2 upon 2 and here V2 minus V3 upon 1. So, our equation will be I2 is equal to V2 upon 2 plus V2 minus V3 upon 1. Just solve it. Combine the V2 terms. Separate the V3 term. Now, KCL at node 3. Three branches are there. So, three branch current you have to add. So, here first V3 minus V2 upon 1, V3 minus V1 upon 1, V3 by 2. So, let's solve this. Combine the similar terms and we will get V3 is equal to 3 by 5 V2 minus 3 by 5 V1. So, here we have three equations, equation 1, 2 and 3. Our aim is we want to adjust these three equations such that we can compare our equation with this standard Y parameter equation that is I1 and I2 should be function of V1 and V2. Check here, I1 is a function of V1 but we don't want this V3 term. Instead of that, I want V1 and V2. Similarly, here I2 should be function of V1 and V2. So, we have to replace V3 from these two equations. We can replace V3 from equation 3. So, let's check. These are our three equations. We will substitute equation 3 in equation 1. So, this is our equation 1. We substitute the V3 from this equation 3 here. Now, combine the terms V1 and V2, 
so this is our equation i1 is function of v1 and v2 now next is we have to substitute v3 in this second equation also equation 2 we will put the value of v3 this one now combine the v2 terms and v1 is there so we will get i2 is equal to 3 by 5 u v1 plus 9 by 10 v2 so i2 is a function of v1 and v2 now now we can compare these two equation with our standard y parameter equation so y parameter equation is i1 as a function of v1 v2 we can compare these functions equations i1 is function of v1 and v2 so y11 is 8.5 and y12 is check here it is plus sign so here we are considering plus so y12 is minus 3.5 similarly second y parameter standard equation y2 is i2 is equal to y21 v1 plus y22 v2 so compare this y21 is 3 by 5 y22 is 9 by 10 so these are our y parameters we can write it in a matrix form or we can say it as a admittance matrix. This is the way how we can find y parameter. If you compare the z parameter equations and y parameter equations, in z parameter we are applying KVL because we are expressing voltage as a function of current V1 and V2 as a function of I1 and I2. In case of y parameter, we are applying KCL at each node, KCL Kirchhoff current law because we are expressing currents as a function of voltage that is I1 and I2 as a function of V1 and V2. So this is a way how you can calculate Y parameter.